All right, welcome back, everybody, to episode two of The Daily Scroll, which is where, if you are not familiar with what we do here, we scroll Facebook, we scroll the feed, we see what's popping, we, you know, get in on the drama, we get in on the trolling, maybe not so much to the extent of, like, it's annoying, you know, commenting on everything and being that kind of person, but we're checking everything out for sure, you know. We're getting our noses and everything. Doesn't really necessarily mean that we are interacting with the drama. But, you know, our, our noses are going to be in it for sure. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, man. Hmm. Carlos Lynch. Wonder how long it takes before someone at work gets offended. Sit on my face. <laughs> nah, for real, though. People are hella easily offended nowadays. <laughs> The picture is flipped, says 115 in Zombies Rounds. Just in time for Die Machine. Who else has zombie stats? Nope, I don't, bro. Can't say that I do. <laughs> oh. Let me in on this. <laughs> Sean Jones, too. The Spokane music scene. There is a very talented, though not hardworking... Hold on. Pause. I need a sip of coffee first. Uh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, there's a very talented, though not hardworking rapper in Spokane who appears to think that DJs are non-essential to a rapper's success. Examples given, a rapper doesn't need a DJ to play their music in mixes or on the radio, even if the platform has millions of listeners. And that radio play or play... <clears throat> And that radio play or play and mixtapes are not beneficial to a rapper. Aside from it being clear, this artist does not understand how the music industry works and does not appear to know the industry of hip-hop. My question is, how did the state of hip-hop in Spokane get to this point? Hopefully this is merely reflective of this particular artist's lack of knowledge. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I lived in Spokane for a little bit. I don't know it well enough to know exactly how the music scene is there. I mean, I've experienced some of the music scene, and it's it's, it, it's a little different. I mean, that's all I can really say about it, but... Um, should we read the comments? Should we go into the comments? I just want to see if the artist is in here. That's all. That's all. That's all I want to see. Here's a loss. Who cares? Maybe he's just doing his thing artistically the way he likes it. The industry and creativity are two different things. I was judged and I was judged and did not fit into the industry well, but I made a living for 27 years with my music. Just a thought. Yada, yada, yada. DJ's becoming obsolete. Yada, yada. A rapper can literally get on stage, plug his phone in and play his own track. Shit, don't even need to plug the phone in. He just needs to know what Bluetooth is. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, your first sentence said it all. I'm not hardworking. Say names. For real. Say. Say names. I want to know who. How did the state of hip-hop in Spokane get to this point? Probably around the time the hip-hop started being produced in a town that is 90% white. <laughs> so you're saying at some point the level of rap artists in Spokane was higher? LOL. That's a good point. How much was your fee? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, that didn't get nearly as juicy as I thought it would. I wanted names. How much coffee is too much coffee? There's never enough coffee. Never enough. Pendleton City. Pendleton City Council approves new take on Till Taylor Park. It's my hometown. So I'll read into that later on my own time. <clears throat> Even the little boy gets it. Yeah. Yes. Truth that. Truth that. Biden is a little creepy. You guys really got to start coming up with better names. <laughs> I mean, mad love for you, bro. You're always grinding. But man, science isn't fact, but it's really cool. Science is really cool. Some of it is fact, though. Ends be in a gang still broke as fuck. Must be a non-profit organization. Uh, ask a question about this photo. I'll go first. Why is, the, why is she mixing her drink with a knife? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, you know, I don't really want to go. Why is that in the fireplace? Hmm. 
Damn it, I didn't want to get all intrigued into this picture, but now I am, and there's a cat in a bird cage. <clears throat> well, this is interesting now. Uh, what else is weird over here? That's probably something weird. Maybe a lantern or candle. Maybe it's not weird. I don't know. Uh, that can't be the only weird stuff going on. If you notice anything weird in here that I didn't point out, comment it down below. Oh, she's just pouring that shit right onto the table. His cup's over here. There's a lot of cups. Okay, one, two. So, okay. There's five people here, and there's one, two, three, four. Oh, there's five cups. I thought there was more cups than that. Weird. This is a very interesting picture. So where's the cake, then? So there's a piece out of that. Where's the piece of cake? Or is it already eaten? Is that not supposed to be a weird piece? Am I not supposed to be looking at that? I don't know. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Crackheads just be out there riding bikes, doing their daily crack activities. True that. True that. They are consistent. I almost went to jail because of the way my mom wraps my lunch. Damn. <laughs> uh that is hella funny. So my oldest son is online doing a class, and I hear, dang, that girl is hot. I'm like, I'm going to so laugh if your microphone is on. <laughs> yes. I need to know, was it on? La, la, on. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> I need to know. We're about to go live on my... YouTube channel music review live send your tracks and I'd send them in if I knew what YouTube was now I'm just fucking with you I like to be a smart ass some of you guys be getting in the shower and then bam you're a wop <laughs> oh please respond please respond I need to know I really hope this doesn't show up on my screen recording Yes. No, he's like, I can see it and it's off. I'm like, mm-hmm, bet not. Uh, damn it. Oh. Oh. Damn, yo. What? Ho, <laughs> Wow. Jesus, been waiting on a cab for an hour and a half and now officially over 30 minutes late to work. What the fuck? I know Tanner and I know where he lives. Um, I would have walked, dude. You could walk all the way across Pendleton in less than an hour. <laughs> I would have walked. I'm excited for snow. I really am. I'm down for the snizzo. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Haters will say it's photoshopped. What the? Okay. Oh, did you little baby? Baby gets a heart. <sighs> wow, the motherfucking king is returned. Am I seeing things? What is happening here? I wish people would explain things. Some things you should probably explain. Fellas, you put the toilet seat down for her, but ask yourself. When has she left it up for you? Know your worth. Know your worth, bros. All right, man, look, some, you just got to know your worth, man. You can't let these females out here bring you down, man. Bros for life. Oh, I wish there was fucked up shit going on here. Just need something real good. One real good thing to just fly into. Foreskin is incredible insulation. Electricians use it all the time when doing wiring, but government doesn't want us to know that because big pharma, he said. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sit on my face. Ten billion dollars if you finish it all. Who you calling to help you? Shit. <laughs> I'll find out. 
That ain't nothing. I'll have that gone in 10 minutes by myself. Not even a packet left over. Got me fucked up. Oh, yeah, fucking there they are again, man. Can't fucking escape Cardi B. Shit. Think I'm going to get off here. I'll have to get at you guys next video, man. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Be a part of the fun, the fun scrolling, the fun scrolling we do. Be a part of it with me. Join in. Talk shit. Leave comments. Please leave it a like. All right, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. You beautiful, beautiful people. Don't let anybody bring your shit down out there. All right. I will see you guys next time. I am out of here.